Freddy here, and I got a lot of requests or like questions on how do you do the Iori Infinite. So I thought, well, I'll just make a, a video guide and show everyone, you know, the best ways to do it, really. Okay, so I'll first just go over the basics of it. Like, this is like this guide is for like if you know how to play the hero, like. If you know what his basic attacks do and stuff, then you could do it. So the first input really is the uppercut punch, which is right down. So you just you just you have to hit first in order to do an input. Yeah, most people know that. So you just hit him right down, and then that'll uppercut them up. The next input you or you can do is this flame thing. So you can do it just by holding D, but you're not gonna do that in the inf. So what you do is you just hit it's gonna be down right it's pretty easy and then the last one is the dash attack which is down left you can do it three times to do the full dash attack like that or you could just do it twice which is what I do in the inf so when I inf I only do it twice like like that really so what I'm gonna do is I'll just show you like a few different oh and there's a grab there's a grab which is right down left right you gotta hit him like pretty fast and in that order but uh first what I'll do is I'll just show you some of the imps I do I'll go for like I only do two really with this guy it's just an easy one and a kind of hard one it's not that bad so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna ground them you just ground them hold D and then it's kind of hard to explain and do it at the same time so I'll just say it first and then do it so you're gonna do hold the uppercut uppercut flame that like dash twice that's like the first half you gotta get you have to get that first half down so here uppercut down boom that's the first half if you can do that then you're able you're gonna be able to do the the full thing the next one like after that so once you've done that it's gonna be here after that it's gonna be you're gonna flame so like flame dash forward uppercut I'll do the full thing like that so what you're gonna do is flame flame dash forward flame flame dash forward flame uppercut and then two dashes again it's gonna look like I'll, they'll all be in the description like on how to do it um there will be like if you do it if you were to do that full thing like there's gonna be a point where it changes so like I'm getting it all done right right here right there what'll happen is like he'll fall down one early so you're gonna have to do it differently watch right there it missed so you gotta change it up so what you do when that happens really is you just do one hit it's gonna be one punch he's gonna fall down then you do fire flame and you can go back to two and then I'll just keep switching off it's not that bad if you like you know what's gonna happen after you do this you know that next one he's gonna fall down it happens every time he's gonna fall on the ground a one punch early so you have to be ready for that right there see it missed pop pop like that second one missed right there so you can continue after it too like you could just keep it going like watch 
Oh, I fucked up there. My bad. <laughs> there is a timing that you, you know, you kind of have to learn. But see, it just keeps going like to that over and over. So you, after you get to that point, it's just gonna be switching on and off. It's not that bad. So there's that one, and there's one other one, like, there's something that you should be aware of when you do a Yori, it's like, it's part of the grab, so, when you grab, you see how far he goes, he doesn't go that far, but after you do it three times, he'll go farther, and like, you're not gonna be able to imp grab like that, it's just, you cannot imp grab like this, so, like, let's say you're doing it right, and that, he gets pulled away, shit. My man, let me just kill him right quick. Alright, so let's say you're doing the grabs. And uh, he gets pulled away. And you're like, ah, oh, shit. Well, you know, you could, you could stop that from happening. Like this. And then you could just imp this. Or you could like continue to combo off of it really. So what you do for that is when he gets grabbed longly, like and it pulls him far away, we're gonna hold the uppercut fire. Hold the uppercut fire dash. Hold the uppercut fire dash fire uppercut grab. That's a lot. I'll just demo it. Or instead of imping that, I mean, you could just continue, you could do that, and then you could punch him still. Like, instead of grabbing at the end of one, you'll just punch. And he'll just, it'll continue the combo. But it, it'll drop him, and so you gotta just re-grab. Like, it's, it's hard. I don't do it that often. I just, if I got him into that, I would just imp. To be honest. Oh, I forgot one good thing to do with the Yori. If you're planning on just maining him and solely Iori, what you want to do is like, when they're blocking, cause like, if you were to spam, like they're gonna be blocking. So if you like hit twice and grab, it's a good way to just to stop them, and you can just start imping right there, cause they'll block eventually. Or like if you jump attack, and that if that hits them right, if the jump hits them, and you were to do that, and then the uppercut right after, it's not blockable. That's a free grounding. So if it hits them and you just uppercut, then uh, you're good. Let me try it. Like that. And you could still combo off that. So you could do this. Again. Boom. It's hard. It's hard. So I'm not a pro. I'm just trying to help the people who are asking me. If you feel like it's gonna get like fucked up though, like you could just tell like, oh, I know, like, the the timing is off. I better just grab them. Or the good thing too, instead of the uppercut, you could do this and then grab. It's a little bit harder. I can't even do something. <laughs> yeah, that, cause like, that was just overpowered right there. Cause even if they they manage to block. They're still gonna get shield broken and they're gonna get grabbed. Which is the best. So, I think that's about it, guys. Um, I don't know what time it's gonna be released at, but if it's either after the They All Fall ex exposed 1v1s 
go watch that because that's pretty funny if it's before it then it'll probably be coming out soon <laughs> that, that, that is gonna be good all right guys cruddy here and i'm out